So Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is gonna be uh you know some uh words through the spirit, uh some wisdom, some insight. Alright. Some um answers for external problems we may be having by acknowledging you know the answers you're getting inwardly you know the, the things you're receiving or the reception that you're getting um, that's aligned with the scriptures inwardly you know that's aligned with the scriptures that is and that's how pretty much uh, for instance really lesser for instance because it's the lesson but which I'll say the lesson of the lesson is um, pretty much just dealing with, you know, sourcing your uh, issues. Not necessarily worrying about the issues, but the source of the issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like, this, it's like the, the opposite of, uh, you know, a lesson I did the other, you know, day or whatever. You know, a lesson I did, which was dealing with how you don't have to chase money if you just chase, if you're chasing wisdom. So instead of worrying about the things that, like for instance, instead of worrying about the thing, right? Worry about what brings the thing. Hence, the thing being the money. You know, and what brings the thing will be the wisdom. So it's in reverse with this. It's like instead of worrying about what the issue, the issue per se is, 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 is going to the source you know what I'm saying and that's what the Heavenly Father wants us to realize like for instance I'm going to grab this um, scripture really quick it's Haggai 1 and uh, 5 now therefore thus saith the Lord now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts consider your ways and NLT this is what the Lord of Heaven's armies says look at what's happening to you in the KJV verse 6, ye have so much and, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. So these issues, right? And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. And the NL, well, in the next verse, the point it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. He didn't say the issues, which those things would be. He's saying the source of the issues, which is your ways. All right. That's why the Lord said he's going to give every man a reward. He's going to come and reward every man, the Messiah, who some of you may know out there is Jesus Christ. He's going to come and reward and give every man reward according to what his work shall be. All right, you're going to see the fruit of your doings. So it's not about the fruit. It's about the doings. It's not about the issues. It's about the ways. It's not about the source. The issues is about the source. All right, so this is what the Lord wants to understand. And that's what this lesson will be about. Before I get into it, I'm going to say, What I just said is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. And peace and blessings to all you brothers and sisters, you true brothers and sisters, you men and women out there. You true brothers that have been enabled into the ministry of the new covenant to serve this to our people. All right, because this is the fix. This is the resolution. All right. This is the way out. All right. Uh, due to the things that the new covenant does for us. You know, the effects of it that it has once it's held. But anyway, and peace and blessing to all you brothers and sisters, you know, scattered abroad in the faith as well, doing what you need to do. And those of you that, you know, listen in and, you know, are going to convert regardless, you know, if you're in these groups or not believing right now, but you, you, you know, spirit on you. But anyway, so yeah, don't don't worry about the uh the issues, worry about the source. Alright. 
This is Hosea chapter 5, and I'm going to start at 14. It says, let's start it, um, let's start at, uh, 12. Therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Judah as rottenness. Exactly, so... If you occur, if you actually have this uh, rottenness upon you, you're, you're dealing with this rottenness, right? It's occurring upon you and this moth, but yet you find out that there's something causing it. Do you worry about the rottenness at that point and the moth now that you have found out there's something causing it? Or do you worry about what's causing it which is what you've factually found out that something is causing it and you know that now well when you're listening and learning spirit on you you worry about that you worry about this, what's causing it and in this instance the lord is saying he's causing it right so he's telling you these things is going what he's gonna bring but the main thing he's telling you, he's telling us is that he is going to bring it. So there's a source to everything. And he is that source. When you read on, when Ephraim saw his sickness, when Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian. It says, and sent to King Jareb, yet could he not heal you? See that? So most of us, we worry about the issues. We acknowledge the issues, but it says when it goes on to read, it says, yet yeah, you try to find things to deal with it, right? But what's being revealed right here, you're not going to the cause of it. You just going to you seeing this there and you just wanna you tripping, you you wilding, you doing whatever you can to uh supposedly stop it but really you're not doing anything because you're not going to the cause of it you know what I'm saying the cause of why you don't have the cause of uh, uh, why you could have what causes that like I said in instance you don't got to chase money if you're chasing wisdom because if you're chasing wisdom you're going to do all the things to where you have money you're going to do what you need to do. Be where you need to be. Don't do what you don't need to do. And don't be where you don't need to be. Say what you need to say and not say what you and say and don't say what you don't need to say. When those things are in season. And if and in particular... In instances where those things, those actions deal with making money, you're going to make all the right moves through that wisdom to where you'll have it. When you chase some wisdom, you're going to do what you need to do and when you need to do to have money to where you always have money and wisdom will always, so wisdom will always reign true. As being a, the, the mother of the birth of all this. But it's the same thing in reverse with this. With issues. It's the cause of it. So when you read this again. Hosea 5 and 13. When Ephraim saw his sickness. And Judah saw his wound. Then went Ephraim to the Assyrian. And sent to King Jared. Yet could he not heal you. Nor cure you of your wound. Alright. For I will be unto Ephraim. As a lion. Exactly. And a, as a young lion to the house of Judah, I, even I will tear and go away. I will take away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. Why? Because, read you know, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. See that? So none are going to be able to rescue you because you seeking 
out the wrong things. It's not that you shouldn't acknowledge the issues. It's just you acknowledge it and making it about the wrong things. If you make it about the source, you kill the issues. You get rid of what's causing the issues. You kill the issues. It's two birds and one stone. That's what, and the Lord's trying to get us to see that's how you really are to handle the matter. You know what I'm saying? Because really, in the reality of the matter, the Lord is the cause of all your issues. You know what I'm saying? It tell you that to uh, the Lord belong the issues of death. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he he bring it up uh, down to the grave. He make it poor. He make it rich. He set it up on high. He, he bring you down to the dunk hill. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's all of the Lord. You know. And yeah, it might be instances where the case may be where, to where it's like, okay, this was just going on in my life, and these are what the issues look like here down here on earth. But the Lord, incorruptible spirit, is in all things. So it's something. The Lord's spirit is in those issues, hence, thus tracing it back to Him. Your lack of doing or certain actions you may be doing is tied into basically offending the Lord. You're going against wisdom somehow to where you have those issues. So once again, that issue is sourced back to him. That's the reality of the matter for everything that we have and don't have. Like, we lack of something. The issue with that is not, it, it's the issue. It's the source of what's causing us to not have or continuously deal with certain things. And that's what we really want to be looking at. You know what I'm saying? But it says, um, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek me and seek my face and their affliction they will seek me early. So it's all about going to what causes the matter. You know, what puts you in this rut? What was the source of it? It's not necessarily about the rut of the issue. It's just about what got us here in the first place, man. You know, what got me up or what got me down. You know what I'm saying? So once acknowledging that, once again, in reality, you acknowledging wisdom. Because wisdom is the work of all things. You know? For instance, you might be doing something that takes wisdom. Like, you might be doing something. How can I explain this or say this? Um... Uh, Something that causes for wisdom to be there that you don't do, you don't apply, you don't you don't take wisdom up on. That's gonna lead to issues. That's once again showing you wisdom is really the work of all things because it's due to the issue to where the, because you have it's due to wisdom, which is the only which pretty much brought what you didn't apply was pretty much brought the issue. Is why you have the issue. Wisdom is the work of all things. You know what I'm saying? Which goes back to our Lord, the Messiah. We may know as Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, who has made, been made wisdom for us. As it tells us in, uh, I believe that's 1 Corinthians in the first chapter, in the 30th verse, I believe. You know, 30, 30 verse, 30th verse, 31st verse. You know, who is that Holy Spirit that's going to guide us through all things. But you got to, we got to walk according to it. We got to live in it. You know what I'm saying? And when you don't, there go your issues. But is the, 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 is the issue really the issues or is it the fact that you have created, you have a, a you have created the source, a source for this issue. That's really the issue. And that's what you got to go back and make it about. And, and that's really the answer to, uh, according to the Heavenly Father, the scriptures for everything, you know, whether it's, it's wanting to have good or get rid of bad to where you have good. Because that's really the point. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's basically the point. That's all I have to uh, say.
I'm gonna say call on my Yahweh, Shemuel Shai, Wahawa Kakodash, Lord, will you be edified? The Lord is pleased. Shalom.